This is The Convergence. So, Justin, what was that day like for you? Because at this point, you're probably a little frustrated. You know, I mean, I guess it's like any other art. You're sitting on it, right? Until somebody, yeah. until a buyer shows up. Yeah, I just was like, I was just like, look, man, I'm stoked to be able to do this. Like, yeah. I didn't realize that if you didn't sell out right away within like a couple uh, of weeks, that you're like, it's not good. And yeah. So I know that. And I just was like, man, well, I'm just stoked to be able to do this. And then that day, when we sold out, I remember I was in Hawaii. It was my last like day just hanging out there. Yeah. And I remember I was getting pizza and they're like, yo, it's going to, I went to the outlet mall and they're like, yeah, it's, it's, it's expected to sell out today. And I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. That'll be dope. And I was just like, you know, just still chilling. And then later in the day, I remember I was getting pizza and I was walking back. I seen the numbers go up and I just got pizza. I was like, dang, that's awesome. You know, I was stoked. And then when I got back to my hotel room, then I kept, um, I was going to text Nick and like everybody else. And I was just like, yo, we're at so-and-so. And And I remember it was like 3000 something. And I was just like, yo, I was about to call up. I was about to call everybody up and be like, yo, dude, we're at 3000 or something. Like what the hell is going on? And then next thing you know, and then, um, when it, the next thing you know, one of the dudes texts me and there's like sold out and I couldn't even make a call and they text me. I was like, bro, what? And so I fr- wow. refreshed and it went all the way. Yeah. And just said sold out. And I was like, what? That like, is incredible. And everybody in the discord was like, dick, bro, we sold out. That's so sick. Like but in the discord, it was, it was dumb. That's really cool. So, so Justin, I mean, how, how does that work for you as an artist? You get a percentage of these, right? And that, and that, yeah. I mean, I, I got to think that's a pretty good thing to sell 4,000 pieces of art in a very short period of time. Yeah. 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 I, we were expecting to do like, obviously wanted to sell, right. faster, but I mean, things take time and yeah. it was my first time. I don't know. I feel, I feel pretty good with this next collection just because I know what we're, kind of tapping into but also just want to have fun and not like not sure how many are in the next collection we're we're gonna be ten thousand ten thousand and we did talk about this beforehand so we are going to give away two on this show so you know you can uh we'll figure out what the terms of that are what you got to do but we are going to give away a couple of those nfts uh, when, when this show, when, when that drop happens and the drops can happen late May, 2022, right? So it's coming up from where we are right now. It's about a month away. Um, so what, and the next collection you said is zombies, right? Yep. Nice. And what, so Zamb- Nick, I'm going to go ahead. Oh no, I said zombie. I was just joking around zombies. Zombies. <laughs> so yeah. Nick, what's, what's the strategy on this one versus the last one? Like how, how is that different now that we've got a successful NFT project under our belt? Yeah, so, um, you know, we spent a lot of time and effort on the first one and yep. spent a lot of work, like, getting the art right lineup. We actually generated way more, thousands more images than than the ones that end up in the collection because okay. we ended up throwing away a lot that we didn't like. Like, you know, we threw wow, away... Wow, that has to feel bad for you, Justin. <laughs> well, no, You're because... Like, Dude, this is terrible. Com- the image yeah. combinator sometimes gets yeah. things wrong. So, yeah. um, so we like, like really painstakingly went through every single one mm-hmm. and like adjusted. The, sometimes we had to move things around by hand. It's like, oh, the hat is off to the left, like three pixels. You know, <sighs> Masha, my co-founder is like very sort of. Yeah. You know, yeah about that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, like, so the thing is like, we could have made more in the first collection, but we didn't know, like judging in the market and everything, we didn't know if people would sell where if people would buy it. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, we, if, if we would have made more than that, then we would have been able to reach more people, but, um, you know, we were being cautious yeah. And, and yeah. And like, I think the goal is really that we, we want to expand to as much as we know we can. Now we want to reach more people because we feel like we can, um, Justin has more art that he can share yeah. uh, and, um, and we don't want to leave the old owners hanging. So, sure. So a lot of the people in the, in the first collection are like, well, if you make more, then everyone's going to want those and they're not, not going to want ours. No. And, and, just, and, but you know, that's not the point. The point, the point is that they were in on the first collection mm. when we didn't know um, if people would even buy, you know, Justin's yeah. art as NFTs. 
Yeah. And now that we know that this is an avenue that Justin can put his energy into and like be paid for it so that his, he, he yeah. you know, you know, no one's going to work on stuff like, and, and just and for apps. I mean, some people will, you know, die like, you know, with nothing to eat with dirt and stuff, but I don't yeah. think that that's fair. And so, um, you know, like the fact that Justin can get compensated for this direction, for this, this yeah. uh, medium, it means that he can spend more time on this and we can build something that's really different that, you know, something new in the world that like really the world has never seen before, which yeah. is like th these communities. And right. when we were stuck with, when we have 4,000 NFTs and 2,000 owners, we're, we're kind of like have a smaller community and that limits the, what 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 we can actually accomplish and sure. and so if we expand to another collection that brings more owners in yeah. then we can create a larger community that is better for everybody yeah and totally it'll be better for justin it'll be better yeah. for the buyers I, I think it's better for me as an art collector i've over 100 pieces hanging in my house right now i think there's three i think three justin pierces we have to correct that justin we gotta get a lot more of them hung here i have about 100 people coming over for an event tonight and i only have well yours you have you saw the one that's right at my front door right i have a big one right at the front door but i think it's also good for me as a collector because the more people that collect the digital asset i believe that the value of these pieces the physical asset yeah. increases as well yeah. um so i don't think that's a problem one suggestion i would have for you all is you know the, the people who are the physical collectors. I tried to buy an NFT out of Justin's collection, but I was so ignorant on understanding how these things work. I just couldn't figure it out. Like I was like, wallet. Yeah. We, should, we should white, we should whitelist you guys. Uh, so, so you get on presale. Yeah. Right. I think, I think people that, have, that own your physical art. And I also think it would be nice. And Justin, I'd offer to even do this with you. Let's do a video and walk them through how to buy one and what the value and purpose of it is because as you know, and I, I have lots of art in my house. I've, like I said, over a hundred pieces of original art and sculptures. We collect art as an investment uh, method. And when Justin's, uh, you know, when, when it dropped with the NFTs, my wife was like, you need to buy some of these. I'm like, I don't know how, like, I just don't know what I'm doing. You know? So I feel like I got left in the dust. Um, you, just because I didn't know what's that. A lot of people who like collect my art, they're like, bro, I want to buy some, but I don't know what the fuck to do. So let's, let's do, I mean, I'm serious. Let's do that. Let's do a little video w that shows them what to do. And I, and I think the other thing that would be important here, Justin, you know, let's, let's talk for a little bit about why NFTs matter. So you're used to doing this in one format. And, and I think some people think it's just like, it's just a picture. Like anybody can have that picture, but that's not actually the case. And I think we've, we've established that Nick through other, other episodes that we've done about, you know, this is, this is that certificate of authenticity, but how, how do you understand NFTs from that side as an artist? Like talk to me as an artist, is this an extension of what you do? Is it your new focus? Like wh how does that, what is that? No, I mean, I always paint and do my other stuff, but like yeah. it's a whole new like ball game, but I don't know, man, I look at it as like, you're like you're buying like a rare like trading card you know mm. you know trading cards you you buy a, a pack of cards and you don't know what you're gonna get and you end up getting something that's super rare or something that's kind of rare and mm. then um you hold on to it and i didn't realize too when i thought the whole nft stuff i thought people were just collecting you know digital art just yeah just digital art i didn't realize that um with the whole I didn't realize that it was like stocks. I didn't yeah, like the open sea market, right? Where you can go and trade these things. And yeah. I mean, it is, it's very, well, it's not what you people expect. Yeah. And people like on the discord and stuff, like a lot of, like Nick said, a lot of people who just like the pump and dump, they get negative. Like, oh, why is the floor price so low? And I, I remember first getting in the thing and I'm just like, bro, what the hell is that? I mean, I, I didn't realize that it was like stocks. And so... Then I'm just like, well, people really like some of these people I had to accept aren't collecting my art just to collect my art and be positive. They're just trying to. Yeah. <laughs> when somebody buys a physical piece of your art, it's because they like your art. Yeah, when they I buy mean, an NFT, they, they can hate what they're looking at. Yeah. Right. They don't care. They, yeah. it, 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 there's both, I think. And there yeah. is a utility. It, oh, I was going to say there's also. Oh, yeah. It, there's also a commercial utility for these, right? Okay. Justin, like that was we, my next question. Like, what can you do with an NFT? We, we get we're, we're doing the commercial rights for the, for this one. So, 
Um, so, so all the, the previous ones and this one, people can use them commercially for their own projects or, you know, we've, we've had people already like using them for their businesses and stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah. Right, Justin? Yeah. And merch and all of that. So, oh, wait. So, okay. Hold on. Now that, that's interesting. So when, when you obtain that NFT of Justin's work, you've got the, the, uh, the commercial license to use that. Yeah. You that's don't, right. own, you don't. You know, it's not exclusive, but yeah, go yeah, ahead. Justin can use it and you can use it. So, wow, yeah, yeah. And it, I mean, it's in it's a new another thing about this format is that we're co creating art that Justin like didn't directly like say, like it, it com combines to form new pieces that sure. like are, are just like brand new, you know, yeah. like, um, which is kind of fascinating because the way that a normal normally an artist would paint every single thing like every yeah. single piece by using the computer we're actually creating new art that will surprise even justin and us yeah like, we, we create combinations that are like whoa that one's cool so i want to talk with you for a few moments about evergreen carbon credits one of the sponsors of this show I started working with Evergreen when I was telling a friend of mine who's uh, involved with that company about my efforts to try to learn more about blockchain, NFTs, crypto, all the things in this space. And he uh, showed me Evergreen. Evergreen was a really unique solution. I've looked at carbon credits in the past. I've been in the sustainability industry for almost 15 years. I understood what they were. They were, you were buying an offset to offset the carbon footprint that you or your company has. But I also understood the challenges with that. Uh, they're sold in very, very large blocks. And then people break those blocks up and try to sell individual credits or small clusters of credits to uh, businesses. And, and that creates some room for, um, for, for, for fraud, for people to not be up and up on what that project is, uh, if that carbon credit is real. And, and there's you know, challenges with that. And you can Google it right now and find there's a big case in Europe going on about fraudulent carbon credits. But what Evergreen did, I thought was really unique. They took this idea of NFTs and they took blocks of carbon credits and broke those things down into tens of thousands or even millions of individual carbon credits. They can actually fraction those even out to a tenth of a carbon credit if they needed to. And they were able to then create a smart contract around that carbon credit so that you can track it back to its origin. You can find out what project it was associated with, but you are also guaranteed that the carbon credits you're getting from Evergreen are the real deal. You get that certificate, you get that certification that only the blockchain can do. So that's why it made sense for them to come on as a sponsor of this show. We're talking about all this new technology and with new technology comes higher energy usages in some senses. And Evergreen is here to help offset that. If you want to look to maybe improve your image in the marketplace, maybe you're looking to offset some of your carbon footprint, not even just for your image, but actually for the sake of the planet, head on over to evergreencarboncredits.com and check out what they do. You can buy credits for as little as $11 and uh, you'll get the certificate and the NFT that you can put in your wallet that shows that you've actually made that contribution. And that money, particularly right now with the projects they're working on, is going to reforestation in the Amazon. I think that's something we can all uh, really get behind, particularly when we understand that the the environment, the climate is, we're all connected to it. It doesn't matter if uh, we're putting off uh, emissions here in the US or, or if it's happening in Mexico, it all contributes to the same global problem. So why not be part of a global solution with Evergreen Carbon Credits? It yeah. creates a, a community that can always communicate with each other as a community. Yeah. So like, you know, 10 years from now, everybody who's got one of those um, Justin Pierce friends or zombies, yeah. they'll still be able to find each other because they'll, they'll, they'll have that NFT in common. Yeah. Um, so that's a good point. Cause I've actually, there's pictures of my house online and I've had people reach out to me and say, Hey, that's a J Pierce. I own a J Pierce. I just had somebody recently that watched one of my other podcasts that bought one of your pieces someplace, Justin. I don't think it was direct. But it, it was a guy that I know here in town, or a guy that I got introduced here in town through this. And he's like, I just bought a Justin Pierce piece recently at an event. And I was like, that's sort of cool, right? But Bob, we, bond, we bonded over that moment. But to your point, I, I might never talk to that guy again. 
But if I'm in a Discord channel with him and I own an NFT and we're all part of that community, well, then we can sort of, you know, we can rap about that into the future. Or that that is an interesting approach. I guess I never really thought about that, about yeah. using it for things other than just it's a digital asset in your wallet. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's not really tools right now to help people communicate via NFTs, uh, mm. but there will be. You know, we're working on them at, at my company, OwnerFi, uh, that will allow you to like, you know, go to look up an NFT and then send a message to the person who owns uh -huh. the NFT. Uh, you know, we're, we're working on that. And um, and so like as, the, as time goes on, it's, there's going to be like, you're going to be able to look up an NFT and then go send a message to, you're not even not without knowing who they are, what their email is, send a message like to that NFT and it will like bounce off the NFT through some tool, like maybe the one that we're yeah. creating, the owner yeah. um, and then create these communities. Right now, there's just Discord, so everybody has yeah. to kind of find each Gotta other. Find but the, the, the key game will keep going. Oh, Nick, you froze on me there. There we go. You're back. I said, uh, the ecosystem, the NFT ecosystem and the tooling NFTs is going to keep growing. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, I guess the other thing I hadn't thought about from the Web 3.0 perspective is, Technically, if I have that NFT of, let's say it's one of these zombies and I'm in meta now, that's another thing that we haven't really talked a lot about on this show, but people that know me know that I was an early entrepreneur in the space. I, I helped create, I, I named the world Hypatia, which a lot of people say was the first metaverse on Steam in 2015. It was just a completely open, you know, exploring world where you could just go in and paint and do all these crazy things, make art, do this. And unfortunately, the Steam commenters were all like, why can't I kill people? Why can't I earn gold? Right? It's like, why can't I kill people and take their things? It's like, that's not really the purpose. Fortunately, I think meta is coming around now, but having an NFT, I mean, could I, could I take that NFT into meta and make it my background of my building or hang that artwork in my virtual space? Oh, I'm a hundred percent sure that is going to be possible. Yeah. Um, it's already possible in Decentraland. Uh, yeah. So it's just, it, you know, it's a matter of uh, meta, uh, being compatible with Ethereum. Yeah. And uh, I think that it's only a matter of time because the demand is going to be so high uh, that, you know, if they don't incorporate Ethereum and let people show their, show off their really expensive entities and people are sure. just, you know, like the tweet them. of Jack, Jack Dorsey's first tweet. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, that whole saga. But the guy paid $28 million for it. And I think he got a $600 bid well, for it. That's super lame because the thing about that tweet is it wasn't even Jack Dorsey who made that NFT. So, so it was like some other company. So, you know, wow, it's, some so it's not even off. from the, yeah. Yeah. To me, that's just worthless. Like um, it has to be connected to the per to the creator in some way. So when I just, think, yeah. I mean, I, th I think that's what's so powerful about what you're doing, Justin, is you're taking physical artwork and you're digitizing it. You're not, just creating you're not you're not just a new you're not new to this game you've come up and paid your dues and there's collectors out there that appreciate your work yeah. and uh you know you've you've built that reputation so it makes sense for somebody like you to have an nft collection and and that is a good question though you know you mentioned it before uh nick that your floor price so so let's talk about how this works because you do have a new launch coming up the end of may uh, you know we're promoting that here today so Whenever this drops, I'm assuming at some point you can go on and put your email address in and it says the drop's coming on such and such a date, something like that. Yeah. So if you go to ownerfy.com at the top of the nav bar, there's a there's a subscribe to upcoming drops. Um that that by the time this airs, there'll probably be the the zombie friends yeah. might be on the home page itself. So you can just go to the zombie friends page. But if it's not there already, you can just go to subscribe to upcoming drops and you'll get notified. Um, and one of the things that like we did from the very beginning was we allowed people to buy NFTs through credit card, right? So Justin's freaking me out. He's got to plug his phone in so it doesn't die. We don't want to lose him here. We're, we're like every, everybody cheer for Justin for a moment. Let's let's get him. Come on, Justin, get it done. Plug it in faster. Sorry, sorry, Nick. I, I had to interrupt you when I saw that. I, I I admit my blood pressure raised a little bit. I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna lose the guest. So I'm good. Um, all right. I'm good. Thank God. Uh, so, so Nick, they can come to the site by the time this episode drops. And I know we're going to plan this episode drop somewhere right, right before the drop of the NFT. Um, so they can go and subscribe and get, get on the email list. 
Yeah, they can get on the email list and we'll probably have um, some kind of pre-sale list as well that we'll do uh, in the Discord uh, that you'll be able to go, if you go to the, the homepage on Owner5, there'll be a Zombie Friends link. You go on there, there's gonna be a Discord link. That's gonna go to the chat that he already has. So if you're on the Justin Pierce Discord now, that's gonna be the same chat. We're not gonna make okay. a separate Discord. Um, and then in there, we'll be giving away like pre-sale spots for people to uh, get on the, the pre-sale list. Um, you know, pe- I mean, the term white list is getting a little, out, going yeah. a little out of fashion because it's uh, <laughs> a little controversial. Right. Uh, so, you know, this pre-sale list will definitely get people on that. Um, and then, um, and then you know, we'll be doing like NFT giveaways and stuff. But there, there's definitely going to be a lot of ways to like stay, to keep track of right. what's going on. And um, and then once the drop does happen, you can buy. If you've never bought an NFT before, we make it super easy to to buy an NFT with a credit card, and then we make a wallet for you and put the NFT in the wallet, and everything is done. Nice, and that, I think that's so important for noob noobs like me to this game of making it as easy as possible. And by then, I'm sure I'll have my MetaMask. Uh, like I'll, I'll have figured all this thing out. I mean, I've I've got Ethereum sitting in in my Coinbase account. I just didn't. I wasn't aware of how I, I actually, I guess I sort of, to, to Justin's point earlier, I sort of thought about it like a stock. Like when I look at Coinbase, I'm like, oh, these are stocks, part of my portfolio, not thinking that they're actually currency that I could spend. I think that just sort of is still in my head. I have to get over because I can't go and take my Tesla stock and pay you for uh, <laughs> pay you for an NFT. So being able to take something out of my portfolio, it just, I, I, I even to the point, I have to admit, I'm a pretty active investor. When I first heard about these, uh, you know, the, the, the cryptocurrency stuff, before I opened a Coinbase account, I went into my Fidelity account and I'm like, well, why can't I just add it to my portfolio? Well, because it's not really a stock. It is, it's it's a currency. And I think that's a little bit different. And then I'm like, well, then I go to my Forex account. Well, it, it doesn't work that way. It's just a different, a totally new thing. So uh, th- very cool. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this new drop. We know it's coming the end of May. What do you see the future? Like, wh- where do you, Justin, maybe you can talk for a couple minutes about, like, I-, I know you see the future world where you're not in it anymore <laughs> and we're all still collecting your art, right? But isn't that sort of an artist kind of thing, though? It's like, you got to think about becoming famous when you're dead, right? <laughs> so it's like, um, but well, but where do, you, where do you see this? Fu- Go ahead. No, I mean, um, I mean, things are growing like every yeah. day for me and all that for my business. But I don't know. Like, I see, you know, me and owner fine and everybody just continuing continuing to just grow <clears throat> bigger and everything with these nfts and just um and then also you know with my physical work and just keep yeah. building it and keep doing these different projects and working with all these cool people that will also help you know help the nft stuff and help keep pushing that up and everything too like awesome. i don't know man i just see us just keep keep working and keep growing that's awesome. And Nick, so folks that want to learn how to subscribe to this, ownerfi.com uh, is the best thing to do to, to, to get more information about this. And Justin has a huge Instagram following. It's Jay Pierce is your one Instagram. And then the the collection, is it is that what, oh, is the second I, one going to stay for all or what? My Instagram is I am Jay Pierce. And then, the, and then the, uh, the, the Jay Pierce and friends, um, the Instagram is JP and friends, uh, NFT, but there's also, there's, um, there's these scammers that are like on open C or whatever, but they, they have another Instagram account that looks very similar to ours, but they took out the S on friends and it's JP and friend NFT <laughs> and they're going around scamming and messaging and scamming people. So we've been letting people know about that, but yeah. <sighs> Typical, right? There's always got to be somebody that's got to try to mess it up. Yeah. But uh, well, so hey, listen, guys, thank you so much. This was really good. I think yeah. we we really helped explain to people what these things are, why they're collectible, how to get with yours. Uh, I'd love to have you guys back later once we, this other drop has happened. We can talk more about that success. And then on top of that, as we just talked about before this, uh, I'm going to be doing a little mini M- NFT uh, blockchain conference sort of a mini conference, a couple hours uh, during a happy hour here down at the Venture Cafe. So if you go to Venture, I think it's Venture Cafe Phoenix, it's a uh, it's a meetup of, of investors 
I meant, yeah, venturecafephoenix.org. We're going to be okay. uh, doing a mini, a mini conference. And uh, Justin's going to be one of our speakers. Nick, we're going to try to bring you in on the Skype or, or uh, on the Zoom for that as well. And we're going to have a bunch of different NFT artists there. We're going to have just a whole bunch of different things that are going to be happening, helping people understand how to invest in this marketplace, as well as ideate in this marketplace, thinking about how you may be able to kind of apply NFTs to your business don't have to be an artist. It could be any type of digital contracts, any type of digital ownership of an asset. So uh, yeah. thank you guys both for being on. I really appreciate it. And Justin, I know how crazy you've been. So I'm so yeah. glad we were able, we didn't even get a chance to confirm that this was happening until like an hour ago. So it yeah. was it was sort of like a text message, like we're going. I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> so, oh, uh, there's one, one more thing I wanted to make yeah, clear please. to uh, all the old, the, the, the original Justin Pierce uh, yeah. friends owners. Every single one of them is going to get a free NFT for for in the zombies collection. So, no kidding. Yeah. So the wow. so four thousand of those NFTs are going to go straight to um you know to anybody to as a free mint. Then just pay for gas to the original JPF holders. You know yeah. to say like that we're not just leaving you out. Like we want you involved yeah. in this as well. That, so, now I'm really upset that I couldn't buy one in the first collection. <laughs> you can still buy. <laughs> buy one um because like because it's going to be you have to have the nft at the time of the mint so okay. anybody who buys one you can still buy one and then as long as you have it during the mint then the software will check that you have the nft and then it'll give you a code to buy one of the zombies um, sweet that so, that's a nice perk of the deal too yeah definitely. Very cool. definitely well hey again thank you guys both for being on uh today justin where can people buy your physical art where's the best place to find your physical art Are there any place you're hanging right now uh, i know you got lots at the house right <laughs> right now mainly people they i mean they can go to my friend's dealership in scottsdale and my yeah. physical art's there but mainly right now i'm so low and i'm like I'm um, like, I've just been selling a lot right now. Um, it's mainly just custom order. People are just going to have to di contact me directly for anything yeah. anything they're looking for. Because mainly that's what I've been busy with is doing custom pieces and, and things and portraits and landscapes and cartoons and people's cars they grew up with. Um, nice. Yeah, just, yeah, skylines, just everything, man. It's been, it's been awesome. It's been cool. Nice. Uh, also on OwnerFi, by the time this this airs, there'll be an API sign up. If you're like a developer or you're a business and you want to make NFTs for anything, for your cars, for you know your clothing, yep. you'll be able to do it through programmatically through the OwnerFi API. Sweet, sounds good. Uh, okay, well, hey everybody, thank you for joining us, and until next time, uh, go out and buy some uh, J Pierce NFTs. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, let's go. Thank you, man. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, man. Appreciate bye -bye. you. Thanks, yeah. Sarah. Thanks. Got it. Thanks for listening to The Convergence. If you want more information about the topics you've heard here today, reach out to us at theconvergencepodcast.com.